Autobiography of a Horse My Early Home The first place that I can well remember was a large pleasant meadow with a pond of clear water in it some shady trees leaned over it some rushes and water lilies grew at the deep end over the hedge on one side we looked into a ploughed field on the other side we looked over a gate at our master's house which stood by the roadside higher up at the edge of the meadow was a grove of fir trees and at the bottom a running brook overhung by a steep bank while i was young i lived upon my mother's milk as i could not eat grass in the daytime i ran along her side and at night i lay down close by her when it was hot we used to stand by the pond in the shade of the trees and when it was cold we had a nice warm shed near the grove as soon as i was old enough to eat grass my mother used to go out to work in the daytime and come back in the evening besides me there were six young colts in the meadow but they were older than i was some were nearly as large as grown up horses i used to run with them and had great fun we would gallop all together round and round the field as hard as we could go sometimes we had rather rough play for they would frequently bite and kick as well as gallop one day when there was a good deal of kicking my mother noticed it and whined me to come to her she said i wish you to pay attention to what i am going to say to you the colts who live here are very good colts but they are cart horse colts and of course they have not learned manners you have been well bred and well born your father has a great name in these parts your grandfather won two trophies for two years at the new market races your grandmother had the sweetest temper of any horse i knew and i think you have never seen me kick or bite i hope you will grow up gentle and good and never learn bad ways do your work with a good will lift your feet up well when you trot and never bite or kick even in play i have never forgotten my mother's advice i knew she was a wise old horse our master thought a great deal of her her name was duchess but he often called her pet our master was a good kind man he gave us good food good lodging and kind words in fact 
he spoke as kindly to us as he did to his little children we were all very fond of him and my mother loved and respected him very much whenever she saw him arrive at the gate she would neigh with joy and trot up to him in return he would pat and stroke her well old pet he would say and how's your little darky i was a dull black so he called me darky master would often bring me a piece of bread which was very good sometimes he brought a carrot for my mother all the horses would come to him but i think we were his favorites my mother always took him to the town on a market day in a light gig there was a plow boy dick who sometimes came into our field to pluck blackberries from the hedge when he had eaten all he wanted he would have what he called fun with the colts he would throw stones and sticks at us to make us gallop We did not much mind him for we could gallop away but often a stone would hit and hurt us one day he was at his game unaware that the master was watching him from the next field over the hedge master jumped in a snap he caught dick by the arm and shook him up they groaned with the pain and surprise as soon as we saw the master we trotted up nearer to see what went on bad boy said master bad boy you chased the colts you troubled them This is not the first time nor the second but it shall be the last Here take your wages and go home I shall not want you on my farm again So we never saw Dick any more Old Daniel the man who looked after the horses was just as gentle as our master so we were well off a bridge from black beauty autobiography of a horse by anna sewell